Lauren of Herbal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then thank you for stopping by. I'm very grateful that you're here. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, please know I'm also very thankful for you. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So this week's video is not one of my typical weekly vlogs. Um, we have been prepping for Thanksgiving, which was yesterday here in the U.S., and I just haven't had a lot of time to um, like film every single day. I've also been working on a new e-course for my website, and so I have just had my nose in the computer, and I've just been being very busy and trying to get as much done on that as possible. So I haven't vlogged very much. So I thought today it would be fun since it's Black Friday, and we're not doing all the Black Friday shopping this year. Um, past several years we haven't done that actually anyway I thought it would be fun to take you guys along and show you our Black Friday tradition when we're not out shopping we typically decorate the house for Christmas so that's what I'm planning on doing today and I thought that you guys could kind of see how I do it now this is our second year in our new house at Christmas and um, there are a lot of little unfinished projects. I really thought that our fireplace area where our wood stove is gonna go would be finished, but like most projects, it's behind. Um, and actually, we'll flip you around right here so you guys can see. <laughs> That's it. So Dean has got, um, this is like, hardy backer or something up and that's um, like concrete that's spread all over it so that the rocks stick and then this is where the mantle's gonna go, that little area. This is all sheetrock and it's primed. I need to paint it so that it matches these walls. Then there are gonna be shelves all up and down the walls here and on the other side like bookshelves so we'll have books and little knickknacks and things on there. And then I don't know if you guys can see the floor or the, I guess it's the hearthstone or something. Those are done, but we have to get rocking. Anyway, this, um, I wanted to hang our advent calendar right here on the mantle, but we don't have a mantle, so my advent calendar is going to have to go somewhere else this year. So anyway, um, today Dean is actually gone with my oldest son, Judah, to get an early Christmas present for my next oldest son, Isaiah. Um, and he'll be back around one o'clock and you guys will be able to see what that early Christmas present is. So while the two of them are gone, me and, or myself and the other three boys are going to take down all of the fall decor and put up our winter decor and try to figure out a place to put our advent calendar since there's no mantle to put it under. Um, but before I get to that, I have got to get some cleaning done. So yesterday, like I said, it was Thanksgiving. My parents came over and um, we made a Thanksgiving meal together, just the eight of us. It was really nice, but I need to clean a little bit more in my house. I have a ton of laundry that is all washed, but not folded and put away. Isn't that typically how it goes, right? You wash the laundry, but you don't put it away. <laughs> um, so I got to get that done and I need to sweep and maybe mop the floors and I definitely need to put some deodorizing powder on our carpets or rugs in the house and vacuum that off. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to take some baking soda and some essential oils that I think smell good. I'm going to blend those together in a blender and then I'm just going to shake it all over the carpets and kind of like rub it in and let it sit for probably 15 minutes and then vacuum it up. So I'm also going to get dishes done and my stove cleaned. I made homemade cranberry sauce yesterday and I boiled it over on the stove. So my stove is like covered in this like red sticky hard goo. So I actually need to pour water on it and let it sit and soak. Anyway, I'm going to do the cleaning first and then I'm going to go to the shop and grab our bins of decor for Christmas and get all that done. And hopefully later today when Dean gets home, we'll be able to go and cut our Christmas tree. We're going to do like a choose and cut farm cut our tree, bring it home, hopefully put it up. We'll see. Anyway, it's kind of like a family tradition on Black Friday. Um, since we haven't been doing the big Black Friday shopping thing lately that we decorate for Christmas on Black Friday. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. <music>
Thanksgiving leftovers. And that's not all of them. A bunch are in the fridge, but my favorite thing about, well, I shouldn't say my favorite thing. One of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is all the leftovers we get to eat for like a week. So good. And here's something. I got you. I got you, little girl. She's found a new bed. Hmm. Cats must be like kids. They like boxes. Okay, so this room's quite a mess. I have all kinds of stuff coming out of bins. And I will figure out where to put things here and there. So Daddy and Judah have just gotten back with Isaiah's Christmas present. And so, Isaiah, are you ready? I think. You think I you're think. ready? I hold this okay. one open. All right. Listen. Look at me, Isaiah. You may want to put some shoes on. Why? Why do you think? Uh, We're ready, Dad. And he's going to be Zay's. Yeah, she's the cutest thing. Look at this. I've got some pictures of him like sleeping. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. What do you think you're going to name her? It's a boy. What do you think you're going to name him? We'll all come up with a name together, I think. Yeah. Like me and Judith have been calling him Squeak because that's all the sound we make right now. Aww, what is Clipsy going to think of this thing that's going to be her housemate? <laughs> not, not like it. What? He's going to go back to the Be very You don't want to scare him. Are you going to be frightening me? Are you just taking care of So, Isaiah, this is a big responsibility. Thank you. He's going to be your buddy all through. Teenage years, yeah, I guess. Well, I want it, okay, yeah. what? Just like Clipsy, I want it. In unlike Clipsy, I want to. Clipsy's in the box. I know. Yeah. She's she's found a new home, a new bed. Yeah. And she's probably not interested in this guy at all. Just let him explore. We don't want him to go potty. Did you let him out to go potty? We tried. Or you can take him outside, Zay, if you want to let him go potty. But me and Judy got him out and walked him around a little bit, but he was just too excited about what was going on. Did you get a leash? He's got a puppy too. He's gonna be chewing a lot. That's what I meant by put some shoes on because you know how Pepper always eats and tries to eat on your feet. Yes, yes, yes. Now don't put Clipsy too close to him because she just will have to get used to him. You can just sit her down. Like Clipsy's actually let her go. bigger than Raya, let her go. Clipsy's bigger than him. Yeah. She's, she's like, I have better things to do with my time. Like going to <laughs> <laughs> All right, Squeak, don't you pee on my carpet here, bud. Hi. See, so, we can call it whatever you want. Me and Dad have been calling it Squeak because. Yep. That's a nice looking. Squeak. That is a nice looking one. Look how full it is. Oh, is that as tall as your dad? Go stand by and let's see. Ones. It'll fit. Mama, can we please have two new ones and two big ones? Oh, yeah. You could cut a little off the bottom, right? 
Yeah. Well, let's see. Our ceilings are eight feet. Oh, that's right. So we want about six. Do what? You gotta sit up in that. Yeah. Ezra, what do you think of that tree? I told you you could help pick. Huh? What do you think of that tree? Am I a good one? Is it a nice one? Is it nice and full? What are these? Fraser no, first, you said? Well, I think that's what you're going to get outside. <laughs> Oscar, is that his name? Okay, here, let's try this one. This will give, make it easier for you. Oh, that's cool. I usually give this to the, the smallest guy to carry. <laughs> oh, because it weighs a ton. All right, now, do you have your saw inside here? He's not little, he's huge. I think he's a little big. That's yeah. cool. Can you see that better? Oh, cool. You would hold this thing. Oh. <laughs> Put him yes. to work there. Heavy. Hold it up. There you go, bro. Good job, Zay. tree and we got it set up in the family room and I'm just gonna take the branches that he trimmed off the bottom and cut them and put them in this wooden barrel that sits in our entryway just to add some more greenery in this room. to work on my table centerpiece right now. I took all of the autumn bits that were in here out. Um, like, I think there were cotton buds and um, pine cones, laurel and bay leaves, and then some other little bits. And then I have this burlap that I've had forever. I think I maybe paid $3 for the roll. It was a huge, huge roll. And then my mom and dad picked this poinsettia up for us um, the other day at Home Depot, and it was $1.50 or $1.99, I can't remember, but they were, it's just a little poinsettia, and I think it'll look good in the middle of the table. Um, I have these mini lights. I bought these like two years ago at Big Lots, and I think they were on sale for $1.50 each, and so I've been using those forever. And then I got these little bags of gold and silver and white Things. These were natural orb set, 11 of them, and they're $5 each, and I got two of them. So, I'm going to, I've split the burlap in half, and I'm going to put the poinsettia right in the center, and then I'm going to fill the space in. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know which way I want this to sit. We'll decorate when Daddy gets home, babe. All right, so I'm just going to kind of like lay this burlap in here. I'll show you guys in the end. On both sides, so it's about half of the length and it's really long. On both sides here. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to lay the lights in and then I'll put the little orbs in last. Let's see, I want this to sit under here and kind of be hidden a bit. Let me turn it on so I can kind of see where they're going to go. Right now, 
will just fill one bag of orbs on this side and then the other on the other side. And I think that will be nice and festive. kind of dump them in and kind of let them fall where they will. And I'll save these bags and put them in my little Christmas boxes where I keep all of the decor and then I'll be able to use them, store them for each year. Oh look, this one had a little dark, dark charcoal gray color for them. Let's see. just finished all of our decorating um, especially getting the tree done and getting everything cleaned up and I've got all the boxes on the front porch so I'll take them back to the shop tomorrow 
Um, so I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and say thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, I also wanted to let you all know that I am planning on, fingers crossed, doing Vlogmas this year. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. I've seen what other people have done and I think it'll be fun. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am doing an advent kind of thing with the boys. And so I thought it would be fun to do quick little videos surrounding our advent activities for Vlogmas. So each video will be about 10 minutes long, so not too long. Um, especially since there's so many so fingers crossed I actually do it and stick with it and I don't give up halfway through <laughs> so anyway um, you can expect that the whole month of December up until Christmas and I will see you guys on December 1st bye